Okay, so welcome. Um, so this is the design sections. In this case, please create your own design if you wanted to. And in this case, I create sort of like a health monitor, a simple prototype. And you may also want to rename each of your object target name properly and the layer name itself properly. And adding a picture by drag and drop in it. Um, you know, drag and drop. And also add like a, uh, you know, scrolling sections here. In this case, I'm going to add a uh, workout main scrolling section for swim, run, and cycle. So we're going to see how to create this scroll later on in the code section. Don't worry about this. So if you get confused or being challenged, please watch the uh, previous projects in this tutorial videos. It might help you a bit for this. Okay, so let's try to add some image. In this case, this is my photo. I'm going to rename it to image and add it as child to the oval and then resize it properly. So using shift and that's very easy. Okay. Okay, let's start with the code. Here I'm going to create an event for each three activity object, like swim, run, and cycle. And here I'm using utils.interval, and it means that per interval or per time that you add here, which is 0.09, then something happens. And here I'm referring to each progress bar for energy, calories, and productivity. So progress 1.x, which equals to step times 0.5, 1.5. So each step will times 1.5 or 0.09. And step means how many steps do you want to add, which is horizontally or vertically. You can do that as well or customize as well. And let's make all the three of them. So for run and cycle as well, with each have its utility interval and progress one, two, and three steps. So next, I'm going to define each of the activities object into an array to be able to scroll. So I'm using for and in. I'm using for and in logic here for elements in content scroll and scroll components dot wrap which means i'm including the elements from the content which is content itself is a workout main which is the parent for all of three activities object and then the other properties like scroll vertical which is false and scroll horizontal true and then content clip which is i'm going to clip and hide some of the masking behind of the um uh, workout main object which is a rectangle there as you can see on the design sections and I'm going to add the content inset which is the range from the left or the right side so it's giving a space in this case you can basically customize with your own personal favor and to make this work I'm going to add a step here which is adding 0.9 steps to the left so I am defining step in the beginning is zero it means that I have to include another steps like 0.9 in this case so the progress bar will move to horizontally to X here for each progress bar so as well I want to customize by using animate here just like using simple opacity properties and the values of 100 from the default properties of around from the default properties which is about like 25 or 35 percent and there you go Basically, the code is okay, and you can click your activities, and then you can reset it, and then you can click the other activities, and the progress bar will move differently. So basically, you can customize it on the steps, property values of each, um, you know, for each activities. Okay, there you go. So you can customize the numbers to see what happens or the changes in your own computer. Okay, so uh, let's group all of this. <clears throat> Rename it first by using hashtag like a progress and command return. There you go. And you can examine each code manageably here um, without any disturbing codes from the other sections. So, yeah, that works. Now I'm going to add the sounds effect, which is on the snippet sounds. And I'm just going to copy to each of the activities object um, there. And then copy that away and copy this one okay cool so when I click there will be a sound effect there very cool very nice okay so everything's worked perfectly so there you go basically uh, you need to create a scroll component first to create a scroll component for your activities object in this case so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope this helps and if you like this video please subscribe and thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.